Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us for this segment, we have Sarah Maley, Index Research Strategist at NASDAQ Investment Intelligence to discuss the NASDAQ Next Generation 100 ESG Index and how investors can get exposure to it. Sarah, it's great to see you as always. Welcome back to Trade Talks and give us an overview about this new index. Hey, Jill, yeah, so today we're talking about, again, the NASDAQ Next Generation 100 ESG Index, which is a twist on the NASDAQ Next Generation 100 Index. Um, just for the rest of this, this trade talks, we're going to call it the NASDAQ Next Generation 100 NGX for short, and then the ESG version is NGX ESG. Uh, but the, the NASDAQ Next Generation 100 designs the, prefer, is designed to measure the performance of the next generation of NASDAQ non-listed finan- non-financial companies. So those lar- next largest 100 securities outside of the NASDAQ 100 index. So this is uh, almost NGX, if you say, with a twist. So we're taking the uh, a sustainability twist, if you will. So the overarching goal of the NGX ESG index is to reduce the portfolio's economic value at risk because of ESG, environmental, social, and governance factors. Um, in more straightforward terms, we're just trying to significantly improve the portfolio's ESG score. Um, in terms of the sustainalytic scoring that we're using, a lower score is stronger for your ESG case. But the index screens out companies with high controversy levels, as well as those with relatively higher ESG risk ratings. Um, again, according to Sustainalytics, and the index also looks to disqualify companies involved in certain businesses to certain degrees. So in, in terms of like energy, you can think oil and gas, shale energy, um, health and life companies involved in alcohol and tobacco, defense and military involvement, and then values based kind of involvement. So companies um, involved in things like gambling. Um, all companies in the NGX ESG index must be compliant with the United Nations Global Compact, the UNGC. And then if a company does not have an ESG risk rating available, then it is disqualified. Uh, But the NASDAQ Next Generation 100 ESG Index is tracked by the Invesco ESG NASDAQ Next Gen 100 ETF, symbol QQJG. Tell us about some of the holdings and sectors it has exposure to. So this index is reviewed on a quarterly basis. So as of the most recently quarter eval, there are 95 holdings in NGX ESG, and that's compared to 103 in NGX. So eight stocks did not make it from NGX into NGX ESG um, because they didn't meet the ESG criteria. And those only account for about 6.7% of NGX. Um, and it's notable that these come from a wide variety of sectors and not just focused on, you know, stocks within energy or stocks within utilities. We see some from tech, consumer discretionary, um, and industrial, things like that. Um, but when compared to the NASDAQ Next Generation 100, NGX ESG has the most meaningful sector differences in technology. So it has a higher weighting in tech and a, um, a lower weighting in healthcare um, by about 5%. But some, some of the names within the top 10 holdings by weight in the NGX ESG index some names will, you know, I'm sure will um, recognize like Coca-Cola, Take-Two Interactive, Trade Desk, Factor Supply, Ulta Beauty, um, and, and as well as J.B. Hunt Transport Services. So again, we have that overweight to tech. These are these uh, innovative kind of next 100 after the, the NASDAQ 100, again, with that ESG twist. And let's take a look at the long-term outperformance versus the NGX. So when we look at this just from a performance standpoint, we can look at our back test that started in March of 2016. So this index did go live in July of 2021. So this, this is a, a back test. But, this, uh, but since our back test, the NGX ESG has outperformed the NGX by over 20% on a total return basis. And then even when we narrow our focus just on the current year, so 2023, the NGX ESG has gained 12.5% percent so far this year and on total return, outperforming the NGX by about 2.75%. And, you know, we see strength not just from a performance perspective, but also that ESG risk rating perspective that I mentioned. As of June 30th, uh, the NGX ESG has a weighted average Sustainalytics ESG risk rating of about 18.1, while the NGX has a higher risk rating, again, more risky, um, of 21. So those ESG criteria, you know, screening out those eight names really has improved the overall ESG risk rating, in addition to giving you, you know, the total return story as well. Um, so yeah, that, again, this is tracked by the Invesco, uh, the Invesco ESG NASDAQ Next Gen 100 ETF. All right, Sarah, appreciate the insight as always. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.